high on T2 evidence for administration of intravenous continuum that shows moderate intense nutrition enhancement, most likely specialized nature, soft maxoma. Soft maxoma and the corticeps, high on T2, high on T2, low on T1, low on T1. Question number 60, which of the following locations is most often associated with post-traumatic osteolysis led to clavicle? Associated with post-traumatic osteolysis led to clavicle. Associated with post-traumatic osteolysis led to clavicle. CG1, fall electrocution, pain for right shoulder with decreased range of motion, most likely pain for finding, posterior shoulder dislocation. Fall electrocution, most common finding, posterior shoulder dislocation. CG2, pain falls on outstretched hand that will grab to a small fracture fragment going to the carapace and AP telegraph appears normal. Which carbon bone most likely to be fractured? Triquitum, grow the carpus in the world. Fall on outstretched hand, dead telegraph to a small fracture fragment, go to the carpus, and AP telegraph appears normal. Which carbon bone fracture? Triquitum. Go to the carpus in the world to Question 63. Elderly woman suffered a malignant fracture of the pelvis. Pain died overnight on the world with the most likely cancer of death and prominent hemorrhage. Elderly woman suffered a Malignant fracture of the pelvis and dies overnight. What is most likely mechanism of death? A common hammer. Question 64. Which of the following findings would support a diagnosis of diffuse axonal injury rather than simple contusion? Corticular medullary pterygeal hematoma. The um, diffuse axonal injury. Diffuse axonal injury. It always occurs at the cortical medullary junction. So, which finding would support a diagnosis of diffuse axonal injury? Corticular medullary pterygeal hematoma. Is the fluid axonal injury at the great white matter junction. Question 65. Painful stiff shoulder 12 hours after undergoing orthography with the same joint would most likely cause chemical sign of Painful stiff shoulder 12 hours after undergoing orthography with the same joint most likely cause chemical sign of Painful stiff shoulder 12 hours after undergoing orthography with the same spine most likely cause chemical sign of Question 66. Not a manifestation of crest calcinosis may not resolve your involvement in stereotactile and clinical syndrome or osteoporosis. See from the name C R E S T crest. So the manifestation will be starting from C R E S N T. So this starts from O osteoporosis not inside. Not manifestation of crest osteoporosis. Question number 67. At the thoracic number region, which signal indicates the most sensitive for inference instability to come on a man alignment? At the thoracic number region, which single indicator is most sensitive for instability to call a man alignment? This is the point not recognized to cause of myeloid hyperplasia, red marrow, projectivation, converted to your old adult, quarter disease. Quarter disease is seen in children. So, not recognized cause of myeloid hyperplasia, red marrow, projectivation, quarter disease. It is seen in children. Not recognized cause of myeloid hyperplasia in 50 year old adult, quarter disease. Question number 69. Which radiographic feature finding would suggest that it was scurvy rather than rickets? Jordic and papyrus rim. This is scurvy. It has its own signs. Wimberger ring, uh, pelican spur, uh, uh, tremor field zone, uh, tremor field zone, line of Frankel. So, which is suggest that it was scurvy rather than uh, rickets? Jordic and papyrus rim. Jordic and papyrus rim is seen in. Scurvy. Scurvy. Because I'm saying we the following local factors and not associated with increased risk of fracture non union impaction. We have following local factors not associated with increased risk of fracture non union impaction. Because I'm saying which single feature is most specific for a diagnosis of sinus tardis syndrome? Not the fat signal in the sinus. The diffuse fluid signal or edema around the interosseous segment in sinus tarsi. This sinus tarsi syndrome, there is lots of fat signal in the sinus. The tarsal bone and uh, sinus tarsal syndrome. Which single feature most specific for sinus sinus syndrome? Loss of fat signal, loss of fat signal in the sinus, loss of fat signal in the sinus. Question number seventy-two: The hypoperfusion complex seen in patients who have suffered major blunt abdominal trauma includes all of the following, except which of the following radiological signs on the contrast and CT? Hyperhandment of the spleen because spleen is an important organ to reduce blood flow. So in hyperfusion complex, there is no hyperhandment of spleen. In hyperfusion complex, following major burn trauma, include all of one except which regular sign of contrast and hyperhandment of spleen. 
spleen does not have in hands following trauma because spleen isn't a part organ. Just remember that the spleen isn't such an important organ, so it, there's a reduced flow during hyperperfusion to spleen. Question 73 Which identity finding was supposed to diagnose of hemochromatosis or pseudogout? Metacarpal hooked ostrophytes. Metacarpal hooked ostrophytes seen in hemochromatosis or pseudogout. Metacarpal hooked ostrophytes seen in hemochromatosis. Question 74 Pain and playing glove. Uh, clinically apparent under nerve compression at the wrist with the following causes the most likely to be an apparent falling investigation with seen in MRI non union hook of hamate fracture. Now, when patient plays golf, the most likely there is a hamate fracture, non union hook of hamate fracture. When patient plays golf, most likely there is a fracture of hamate bone, non uh, union hook of hamate fracture. It is seen in CT scan or MRI. Question 75. A MRI shows joint effusion with torn uh, medial red nephilim. Mary edema affecting the anterior aspect of the lateral femur condyle and a chondroid, chondral defect of the middle facet of the patella, which is most likely injury. Transgenic fracture dislocation. Remember that there is a chondral defect of the middle facet of the patella, is seen in transgenic fracture dislocation. The MRI shows joint effusion with torn medial red nephilim, but when there is chondral defect of the middle facet of the patella, is seen in transgenic fracture dislocation. Question 76. Sudden onset numbness and pain over the right lateral calf and dorsum and sole of the right foot. Following heavy lifting, which of the following spinal pathology is most likely to explain the patient symptom? Paracentral L4 L5 disc protrusion. Now remember that S1 is lateral, 4 to 5 digits foot and back of call. Now the foot lateral part is supplied by S1. And the digits and foot or uh, back of car supplied by if you know the dermatome, turn on certain numbness. If you see here, there's a foot. The foot, the big thumb, so the middle respect, medial, the lateral. This is supplied by S1. The all is medial and posterior calf region supplied by L4 and 5. Here. So, numbness or pain or lateral, right lateral calf and towards some of the sole right foot. I have a thing. Most likely spinal pathology is paracentral L4 L5 dysprotrusion. S1 it supplies the lateral part of the foot. L4 L5 supplies the digit of the foot and the back of all. Question 17. Which addition view would you request from the radiographer in order to detect a will bone skull fracture? Town is view. Addition view to detect a will bone skull fracture? Town is view. Question 78. Mid femur lesion, 5 cm diaphysic lesion, and 1 cm proximal metaphysic skip lesion. C scan. So chest shows two metastatic nodules in the lower lobe of the left lung, diagnosed osteosarcoma. Correct stating T3 and 0 M1A. Now, T3 is seen in uh, T3's osteosarcoma is seen in due to skip lesion, and 0 because the non-name not involved, and M1A is seen in lung metastasis. T3 is osteosarcoma is seen in skip lesions, and M1A shows lung metastasis. So, T3 and 0 M1A. Which segment of the thoracic artery is most commonly affected by tear or transaction? Is first. Just distal to the subcavian artery. Which segment of aorta most commonly affected by tear or transaction? Is first. Segment of aorta most commonly affected by tear or transaction? Is first. Question 80. Or a sound shows an effusion with widespread degeneration of the rotator cuff and a complete tear of the spinous and then examination of the aspirated joint fluid shows coalition of hydrogen crystal was most likely diagnosed with the rocky shoulder. Important must memorize it that aspirated joint shows calcium high rocky with protite crystal most likely diagnosed Milwaukee's shoulder. And this is uh, this shows Milwaukee's shoulder. This calcification seen in Milwaukee's shoulder, but uh, we don't need to remember it uh, uh, so in detail. Just aspirated joint fluid shows calcium high protite crystal, and then there's white spread. Okay. 
تجھے ملوا کے چھوڑا بس Another thing also, focal uptake in the muscle on FDG pad is also determined by malignancy. In spinal cord, uh, diagnosis of malignancy is suggested by convex posterior border. Question 83, a little pattern of hematopoietic distribution, red matter remains in all but visual foreign dislocations, uh, distal femoral. A little pattern of hematopoietic distribution, red matter remains in all except visual foreign locations, distal femoral. 84, rear graph shows drip thinning and notching. Radiograph shows drip thinning and notching. Sclerosis of the right hemorrhage large and fish shaped lumbar vertebral bodies. Radiograph of the skull shows widening of the type lobe with hair on and sharing. Most change the underlying condition sickle cell disease. This sickle cell disease. Okay. And this the sickle cell disease. This shows rib thinning, thin ribs. With notching and okay, then there's a uh, right humeral head notching and thinning. The fish shaped vertebrae, fish shaped lumbar vertebrae. So, head shaped vertebrae, head shaped vertebrae, and then uh, there's hair on end striation with angular sickle cell disease. Head shaped vertebrae. Uh, thin ribs, um, diagnosis sickle cell disease. On skull radiograph, there will be widening of the, the hair on end pattern on skull radiograph. Then Schumann disease, there are limber vertebrae and small nodes. In Schumann disease, there will be limber vertebrae and small nodes. Question uh, 85, radiographic or the graph of a shoulder. Which single finding is most likely to indicate a diagnosis of adhesive cryptolitis? Small axillary recess. And as well as what is there seen? Small axillary recess. And has the applied is what is seen? Small axillary recess. Question 86. So again, single cell anemia. And is there H A vertebrae? H A vertebrae. And fem uh, uh, hip joint changes. It is 6 ulnar side wrist pain. We have the positive ulnar variance. MI is central perforation of the triangular fibrocartilage of 